microchemistry unit uses particles coming from or impressions made by manufactured items to associate the item with a crime scene or criminal suspect. Almost any manufactured item can be a candidate. Care and diligence in gathering evidence is very important. Employing a stereo microscope and using instruments as delicate as dental tools, items are examined to discover any trace evidence. After evidence specimens are removed and prepared, the process of analysis and identification begins using one of several procedures and instruments. One instrument used is the Micro Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrophotometer, known as FTIR. Light from the infrared spectrum is directed through the specimen. The particle will absorb certain wavelengths of light, but will not absorb others. The instrument records a spectrum of the light absorption characteristics, then makes a chart record. In the case of a vehicle, the spectrum may be compared to the manufacturer's records, or the particle can be compared to items known to be associated with the suspect or the crime scene. Attached to the instrument is a focusing microscope, whose focus is so precise it allows the examination of particles smaller than the thickness of a paint layer. Another station is the microspectrophotometer. Similar to the FTIR in using light to examine the characteristics of evidence, this instrument uses light in the visible and ultraviolet regions of the light spectrum. The instrument can provide information on dyes and pigments and is able to differentiate color about ten times better than the human eye. Fibers often play an important part in the solution of a criminal case. Fiber evidence is placed under the microscope and exposed to polarized light, that is, light coming from one plane only. Comparing the speed of light through air with the speed of light through the fiber establishes the refractive index of the fiber. Using this instrument allows precise examination and comparison of fibers found at the crime scene with fibers found on or associated with a criminal suspect. Another important instrument is the scanning electron microscope. One use is to characterize properties of trace evidence using electrons rather than light. When struck with a beam of electrons, the molecules making up the evidence emit secondary electrons and x-rays. The energy of the emitted x-rays is unique to the elements that make up the molecules of the source material. These unique characteristics are recorded as a graph. This allows the examiner to identify the elements making up a molecule in a sample particle. The instrument is particularly useful for identifying inorganic compounds, such as explosive residues. Another function of the scanning electron microscope is its capability to produce high magnification, high resolution images. As an example, a handcuff was attached to a body of a homicide victim. A chain containing the fingerprint of a suspect was found at the crime location. Could it be demonstrated that the chain and the handcuff were part of the same manufactured unit? Using magnification revealed by the electron microscope showed a fracture match, indicating the chain and handcuff were once one piece. Identification of manufactured items may result from the impressions they make. Footwear is a common example. In manufacture and in use, items become distorted, causing them to leave unique impressions. Test impressions of items are made using powders or ink that are compared to impressions found at the crime scene. Many athletic shoes are manufactured with distinctive patterns. In a cooperative effort between shoe manufacturers and law enforcement agencies, a footwear database has been created which stores many of the sole and heel patterns of athletic footwear. Using this database, the crime lab can advise the investigating agency of the type and brand of footwear that made the impression at the crime scene. Microchemistry examines materials used to make criminal devices such as pipe bombs. An ion chromatograph instrument is used to separate inorganic ions such as nitrates and perchlorates. The instrument creates a spectrum which is used to compare known and unknown evidence specimens. Manufactured items are not unique. 
Nevertheless, using a wide variety of technology and a depth of experience, the Microchemistry Unit assists law enforcement agencies with their investigation efforts and helps courts reach the correct decision as to the guilt or innocence of an individual.